Welcome to the broadcast, folks. Guess what? We're still here. Alive, aren't we? Uh-huh. Corona quarantine. Vlog day number three. Just put, you know, some perspective. We have had, we had a call to go look at a driveway yesterday. We had an order for three loads of gravel put in today. We're going to deliver that tomorrow. And we are going right now to get the trailer. Emma's going to help me hook up. And we're going to come back, get the excavator loaded up, and we're going to haul it down to a retaining wall project. So put your minds at ease. The world is still going around. Ain't <clears throat> it? Yeah. Ah, uh, it's trash day. It's trash day. We gotta get the garbage. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Come on, come on. Sorry for the takeoff, but we had to. Yep. See, even the trash is still running, folks. It's okay. Yeah, we're okay. <coughs> At least we didn't get the coronavirus. We are a load of ants. She's referring to the ant and the grasshopper. We are uh, prepared like the ant. The grasshopper just bounced around all summer and froze to death. But then he got in the king and the queen. Right. So, the world is still going round and round. And let's face it, humans went a long time without toilet paper. You've got to have an unfavored shirt in the closet that you can use. I have an excavator. I'm going to use paper towels to take them outside and bury them. What do you say? In the ground. They're biodegradable. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, as I said, we're going to get the trailer, we're going to get the excavator, haul it down to the retaining wall job, and then somewhere in amongst all of this, me and Emma are going to be going to Carolina Ready Mix and picking up the waste blocks, which are, we're going to be getting 15, six foot long. I think they're two feet by two feet roughly maybe three feet by three feet i can't remember anyway we're gonna get 15 of those and then we've got to get two three footers because to build the wall we're going to do eight on the bottom and then we're going to overlap them so it locks the wall in so that'll leave three feet on each end that doesn't have a block so we're going to use the half three foot blocks to cap the ends and Emma is going to be helping. It's kind of a, it, it's, if she was not a kid who listened to me and did exactly what I said and wasn't, you know, I didn't feel confident, you know, that she'd be safe around this kind of thing, obviously I wouldn't be letting her help me. But she's a great kid. She's a great listener. And she knows that if she doesn't listen, she could get hurt really, really badly, even squished. Right? Okay. So, let's go get the trailer hooked up. Emma's gonna help me get lined up and hooked up. And we're gonna just go through this day step by step as if we have a five-year-old with us. There's Ben Davidson. What are you doing, Ben Davidson? Wave hi. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay? I won't get behind the truck. Stay where I can see you. If you can see me in the mirror, I can see you. Okay? Oh, 
line, see? We're in line. We just gotta keep coming back. Okay? Tell me, when I get, when this hitch gets under here, then stop. Okay? Up. That is off just a little bit. Let's try again. trailer truck forward so we can hook everything up. You want to hook this hook on? Hold it like this and just take it. No, no, what did I tell you last time? You don't get your fingers inside the ring. Hold him down there. Yep. Let's hook it. Good. Let's pull the truck up a little bit. Go ahead. Good girl. Actually, we gotta go around this side. Come on, let's hook the rest of this stuff up. Kick the tires? No, it's cold. It's cold? No. It's not cold. <laughs> Alright, let's hook the chain up. Get your hook. I'll hook this up after you get the chain. Grab your chain. Hey, you're tough. There you go. Grab your head. Put your little hand. Come up over there. Don't put your hand around anything that twists. I want your little head up here. I'll hook the power up because that's a little hard. And I'll go ahead and kick the tires. Kick the tires and light the fires, baby. And then you kick the back. Okay. All right, double check your hitch. Make sure everything's hooked up right. Point shut. Yep. All right, and. Yep. Uh, Let's roll. All right, things are looking up. Looks like we just got a load of gravel, possibly to move at two o'clock today. Only thing is they gotta go check the site and make sure that it's dry enough for us to get on. But Emma did a fantastic, if we can get out of here, Emma did a fantastic job of doing our pre-trip, getting us hooked up, double checking the hitch, making sure everything is hitched up the way it's supposed to be. We might have to bring the tractor over here and do some work on our road. There's one spot right there that I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to dig into it and see what's going on. It might be a giant ant. Calls it. 
I don't know what it is. It spins every single time in that one spot. And I think it's because our driveway goes, instead of straight, like I've been planning on fixing it, it kind of goes like that and gets a little steeper and the way the trailer's pulling up on the rear end. So, ideally you want to kind of hump up like that onto the road. I just haven't had time to fix it, but with this uh, slow down of work, I'll have time. So that's another positive note. That being said, it hasn't really, really slowed down all that much. And I think, I really feel like the initial panic's already slowing down a little bit. I can tell today that uh, the interstate is bustling. Cars are going up and down the road. Uh, the quarry, every time I went by it, there's just trucks piling in and out, in and out. The Ingalls grocery store, the big grocery store in our area, we live right near their distribution center. I mean, trucks are just constantly coming and going. So, you know, I, I had my brother message me earlier. He said the stock market is in free fall. I haven't looked at it myself, but I can tell you the real life evidence, what is really going on and what I'm seeing even though the people may be getting scared and selling their stocks and you know whatever people are still coming and going you know they're existing i can tell you i got into driving tractor trailers at one of the worst times of the last recession and you could tell it's almost like monthly and definitely yearly you can tell that traffic on the interstate was less and less and less and you saw other semis hauling goods less and less so use your real world you know don't just rely on the media to tell you what is going on they're going to tell you what's going to keep you watching you know ratings look at the real world you know look at what is going on Last week when this whole thing first started and everybody got really scared, uh, you know, I was riding on these back roads and there was very little traffic. And the grocery store, of course, was packed. But interstate, it slowed down quite a bit. Phone calls dropped off toward the end of the week. This week, things are already picking back up so it's looking good guys you know and gals it's yeah i feel encouraged you guys should too you know the bug itself can't stop us you know do do treat yourself like a child what would you tell yourself stop putting your fingers in your nose and your mouth you know be conscientious of what you touch you know if it's something else that you know a bunch of other people have touched the fuel nozzle at the gas stations you know most of us truck drivers to keep our hands clean and our truck clean we wear gloves when we get out to pump fuel so you know be careful you know a lot of gas stations have the plastic fuel mitts use them you know minimize your exposure they're saying like six feet from any other person will keep you safe from it um, use your common sense this is not i mean it is it's elementary i mean I'm, I'm telling myself stuff like what i would tell emma so and one of the best sayings quotes that i've ever heard is a life lived in fear is a life half lived so you know educate yourself you know go on and look up like real information about this thing don't just rely on the media to tell you about how toilet paper is running now educate yourself on how this thing is being spread and avoid it it's simple you know i mean you can't the world cannot stop it will not stop just because of this it's going to slow things down and uh you know one thing that's making people very uneasy is this is an unnatural situation you know humans are a herd animal we are a you know when things are going bad in a crisis 
we flock together into a group. You know, we feel like there's safety in numbers, but with this type of thing, you can't react like that. You have to distance yourself from people, and that is completely unnatural. And that's one thing that causes the panic to be so bad. You can't, you know, surround yourself with friends and family to be safer. It actually endangers you in this situation. So help yourself understand what's going on. Don't, you know, you will survive without toilet paper. If toilet paper runs out, you're going to survive. It's not going to kill you. As Tucker Gott said, you may have an itchy butt or you may walk funny for a little while, but it's not going to kill you. It absolutely will not kill you. You know, before Europeans came to America and we intermingled with the Native Americans, we bathed once a year. Europeans, white people bathed once a year, usually in June. That's my birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday. So, take that into perspective. We survived and look, look what we came from and look what we built up to. We are going to be just fine. We're probably going to be even better, you know. Don't panic sell your stocks. Fortunes are made in recessions. So, my opinion and what I'm going to do pursuing this thing is I'm going to conduct myself and my business and my home life as close to the same as before all this you know we're not I'm not going to change anything I'm going to keep advertising the same way that I did you know a lot of people think oh gosh the money's going to fall out there's no work I'm not going to advertise not a good idea I've been there and done that and if you you don't do your advertising you don't do your phone calls you don't knock on doors then you're definitely not going to get anywhere there may be a little bit less short period but I'm thinking it's not gonna last long just the evidence that I'm seeing people are still out here charging Americans are still getting after it you know it was smart for them in North Carolina to close dining rooms and the restaurants and bars you know that that was smart they're almost having to treat adults like children you know, they tell you, don't do this and don't do that and you'll be fine and then we keep doing it. Of course they're gonna, you know, enforce it. So, it's all good. It is all good, everything's gonna be just fine. So let's get to the house. We're gonna drop the trailer, we may go ahead and have a load of gravel to haul. If not, uh, we'll be moving the excavator today. So you guys stay tuned. All right, my little baby. Get your little hands here. I want my sleeve like that. Pull this back. Pull it back. Watch your boom. Now pull this one back. You'll help me, Lift right? Lift your blade. You'll help me. Yep, I'm going to help you the whole way. See your blade? Well, I'm going to All right. Now, grab your handles. Let's go forward. Good. Now if you get to 
if something goes wrong or you get scared, just let go of everything and I'll take over, okay? Ah, so you stop. See how it's trying to turn that way? Push this one. Go forward. You got it? Alright, take something forward. Nice and slow. 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 Watch about that chain. Yep, it's getting ready to tip over, okay? okay. Alright, go a little farther. Take your time. Come on ahead. That's good. Now watch, grab your handles. Now we're going to make it tip. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Say we're in control. Let it just bounce. All right, now grab your controls. Yeah. Take it straight forward. Just a little bit. Keep going. Tell me when to You're start. doing great. Tell me when to stop. Okay. All right, stop. Hands on these controls. Now we're going to turn sideways so we can watch both sides of the blade. Okay, stop. Let's put our blade down a little bit. Okay. Now, the goal, you're going to push these forward, but it's going to go forward like that. Okay? You're controlling the tracks. So let's go straight forward. Let me get you lined up a little better. All right, now, line that middle of the blade up with the middle crack. Now just go straight forward. That's nice and easy. A little faster. Good. Stop. Now see how your blade's getting too far over this side? Pull back on this one. Just a little. Yep. That's right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Give us some power. One more. Well, folks, we did not make it to haul on the excavator. We got called by our buddy Clay. We had to haul a couple of loads of ballast to them. And, of course, my little sidekick got nested up. And you know what happens when a little kid nests. Ain't it beautiful? 
She's so sweet, I can't stand it. Absolutely love this kid. So, we'll just end the video here today. Um, tomorrow, we'll be hauling the excavator. I'm gonna let him do the unloading. And, uh, of course, with me in the seat. And then, uh, it's not very twitchy. You'd think I worked her hard or something. We were gonna kick soccer ball today, but I guess that won't happen. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get the excavator home, start moving those 4,000 pound concrete blocks uh, to the same job site. And get started on building that if it's not raining. So thank you guys for joining us. We've had a great day. Again, don't let this virus stuff get you down, get you too worried. It'll be over before we know it and it'll just be a memory. You guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.